So if you've been following me on Instagram, you will know that we are getting ready to go full force into a kitchen remodel and excuse my very messy kitchen right now. There's dishes in the sink. This is real life. So right now we are faced with what floor tile to use. And I did a poll on Instagram, but I wanna know your guys' thoughts as well. So this is the backsplash that we decided to use. The walls are gonna be gray. Uh, like the rest of our house, but I am going to be decorating this room with pops of color. So I like the cleanness of that backsplash. And now this is the decision between the two floor tiles. That one's called Dapple Gray, and this one's called Rustic Bay. I think I know which one I like. I want to know what you guys think looks good. So leave a comment telling me what you think. I need to do some work inside of the chicken coop. We do the deep litter method, so I need to add more pine shavings in there. And I also am going to be adding some LED lights inside of the chicken coop. I just bought a another 100 foot extension cord, so we're going to try to hook that up and have supplemental lighting inside of the chicken coop. So hopefully that goes smoothly and that extension cord is long enough. It needs to reach to the, the uh, other side of the rabbit hutch. So um, I think it will. <laughs> like I said on the uh, hutch video, the extension cord arrangement isn't permanent. It's just gonna be for winter for like LEDs and stuff. They don't pull a whole lot of energy, um, but this summer we are definitely going to be getting some electricity out here because we don't wanna overload anything but I don't think that the LEDs are gonna overload anything. I think that's gonna be fine. We have been getting eggs finally this winter. Uh, the ladies took like two months off. I got them to start laying by feeding them a whole bunch of kitchen scraps. And I actually started feeding them Grub Terra treats as well. Grub Terra sells black soldier fly larva. So I like to add Grub Terra in their food and in any treats or kitchen scraps that I give them. It just gives them a little bit of a boost. And ever since giving them kitchen scraps and Grub Terra, I'm finally getting winter eggs. So. Uh, we're gonna keep doing that. And also, I think that these LED lights are gonna help tremendously as well. So, let's get to it. So, I have never done deep litter method with chickens before, but I thought this was going to be much smellier and much wetter. This is actually really, really dry. The deep litter method is when you put a bed of pine shavings down and the chickens will, you know, poop on it and get it all nasty and whatnot. And once it's nasty enough, you just put another layer of pine shavings on and eventually, um, like once or twice a year, you can go through and you can uh, take it all out and use it as compost. So that's what I decided to do this time around and this is not bad. Like it doesn't smell bad, so I'm really happy. All right guys, so that is as far as I'm getting with cleaning the coop. I'm not gonna take everything out until spring. All of this that is built up is actually providing my chickens with like a layer of warmth this winter. So uh, I don't wanna take it out until it starts to get warmer outside. Also on my video where I winterize the chickens, I had a lot of people concerned about adding insulation to the roof. And I wanna show you guys what I did. I just put rabbit feed bags up on the roof and I just stapled them there up against the insulation. I didn't have enough at this point uh, to get this one over here, but I will probably do that today, maybe? But anyway, they can't get to the insulation, they can't peck at it or anything, and now their heads won't freeze <laughs> to the roof, so I am actually really, really happy with how this turned out, and I think they are as well. All right guys, I got everything that I need. I got my 100 foot extension cord, got my drill, and I've got my rope LEDs. 
I've had a lot of people ask me where I get my rope LEDs and um, I just get them at Walmart and this is what they look like. I always get soft white because I like that, but they're really affordable in my opinion. This is 16 feet and it costs I think $13, so it's a really good affordable option in my opinion. Uh, that's what I've used for the rabbits and that's what I'm going to use for these guys. <laughs> Let's get these bad boys up. The rope LEDs do come with uh, these little things to hang them up with. These are good uh, for stringing them along like in a straight line, but I find that in corners it doesn't really offer as much support as it should. So I get these uh, little C, what are they called? I don't know. They're just little hooks that I get at Lowe's and uh, for corners and stuff, they make it so it's really secure and it never falls down. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of the hanging pieces and then gonna put up the LEDs once all of those are up. Why did I make it like this? <laughs> oh god. Okay. I got one more I gotta add right over here. No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Let's get these puppies. I test them before I do this. But it didn't this time. Watch them not work. I'm not really looking for perfection when I hang these up because you're literally never going to see them. You're just gonna see that the coop is lit up. So I'm not I'm not worried about it being like perfect like I was with the rabbit hut. can just uh the ends dangling a little bit. Alright, you're up. I don't actually have the electricity turned on over at the rabbit hutch right now. I turn it on for my laundry room. That's how long that extension cable is. So we are going to string the hundred footer to the rabbit hutch, get it all plugged in, and then I have to go in the laundry room and turn it on and hopefully Hopefully number one, things don't blow up, and hopefully number two, these are not faulty lights, because I didn't check. <laughs> I am going to go in and turn the power on and you guys are gonna be out here and you're gonna see whether or not they come on hopefully they do if they don't I have no idea what has happened but hopefully they do I'll be right back oh look at it it looks so good oh, I'm so excited it looks amazing I saw them come on from inside the house when I flipped the switch. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. How awesome. since I put the LEDs in the chicken coop and I've gotten an egg every single day since then so I am having high hopes that the LEDs are helping them continue to lay eggs but what I'm doing now is I am putting together a little bit of a snack for them to eat I don't have enough money to do this every day but um, every once in a while I like to put together a little bit of a chicken snack for them and it's just a combination of like 
oats and vegetables, maybe scrambled eggs, and grub terra. And I'm gonna show you guys what grub terra is as I put everything in this bowl. So I already put some oats in here, and you don't wanna give your chickens too many oats. There's not really a whole lot of nutritional value in them, uh, but my chickens do love them, so I do give them some every once in a while. And all I did for these is I didn't cook them, I literally just added a little bit of water so each oat is kind of, um, kind of wet, and, but it's not mushy. I don't really want it to be mushy. And ironically, to produce more eggs, um, it's good to feed your chickens eggs. <laughs> I'll just put that into my bowl. And along the lines of kitchen scraps, I have this container and it's just blackberries. Oops. It's just blackberries and uh, they're a little bit old. I don't really want to eat them because they're a little bit too old. So I'm just gonna add those to the mix. And another thing that they really like is corn and I just, um, I had some spinach that in my freezer that was a little bit freezer burnt, so I'm just gonna add that too. And I also have some shredded meat that uh, it's gonna go bad if they don't eat it in time. This is rabbit, so uh, they're gonna enjoy some meat tonight as well. This is what this delicious thing is looking like so far. <laughs> Another thing that you can add is black oil sunflower seeds. And you can buy a bag this size in like the wild bird food section at Tractor Supply um, or Lowe's even. Uh, most places where they have wild bird food, they have black oil sunflower seeds. I feed my rabbits these types of black oil sunflower seeds as well. Um, it's good for molt. It's just really good for like skin and coat health and feather health. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. I don't wanna add too much because they are a fattier food. So you don't wanna add like a ton all at once, but it is good for them every once in a while. And the last thing I wanna tell you guys about is Grub Terra. <laughs> and uh, I will be completely honest with you, Grub Terra reached out to me and wanted to know uh, on a YouTube video how my chickens liked their product. And I gotta tell you guys, they actually go really, really crazy for it. And I was kind of skeptical at first because my chickens are kind of weird. I didn't really tame them down a whole, whole lot when they were babies. So I was like, are they actually going to like these? Uh, and they do, they, they love it. Um, this has been the reason why we started doing more supplemental feeding in the first place. God, I'm so sorry about the shine. <laughs> Ever since we have been feeding this, alongside of the kitchen scraps and like the extra feed like throughout the winter that is when we started getting uh, more eggs and we get like one to two eggs a day now again so i'm really really happy about that um if you guys are wondering about the health benefits of grub terra uh, it is black soldier fly larva it's full of like calcium and protein so it helps produce better eggshells so i'm really happy with this it is one of my new favorite things to have on hand for my chickens and if you guys want to grab your own bag of this or any of Grub Terra's products, you can use code TSH on their website for 10% off. And I would love it if you use that code. So we're gonna put this in the mix and watch the chickens go crazy for it. I'm gonna show you guys what these look like because I was very skeptical when I got this and I'm like, are these things alive? They're not alive. They don't move, thank God. I didn't want moving insects, but uh, these are what they look like. And they don't smell bad. I, I don't mind the smell at all. So I keep them in my dining room with all of the rest of the animal feed until we get a better system put up. But yeah, they don't have any bad smell or anything like that. So that's what they look like. So now that we have this really <laughs> nasty looking uh, concoction, the chickens are going to love me so much today and I'm gonna take you guys out there with me and show you how nuts they're going to go over this entire mixture. Also, I do want to tell you that I very, very thoroughly wash all of my dishes after I do this, I know. Probably shouldn't use my kitchen bowls. Lo and behold, here we are, and I did. And that happened, so yeah. <laughs>